up adventurers, Micah here from Zam Adventures. And on today's video, I'm gonna be checking out what's in this box. Whoa, it's my CGC return. So here's the box right here. I'll show it to you guys right there. This is the CGC box. Um, and in here, I've got three cards. I sent in my Rainbow Rare Charizard VMAX for grading, as well as the two Japanese cards that I guess you guys probably saw uh, in my amazing Volt Tackle video where I opened it. I got two Pikachus. One's a Pikachu VMAX and the other one was the Pikachu V Full Art. So I'm gonna check out, we're gonna check out the grades together and we're gonna see what we got. So in this box, I've got three cards. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this, these, are the, these are the three cards right here. One, two, three, as well as the receipt. So, um, let's do it this way. I'm gonna start with uh, the card over here, which is probably gonna be, since the order, it looks like there's two Japanese and one English, and the one English is the Charizard Rainbow VMAX. So I'm gonna start with this end, and then we'll take a look at what we have. All right, so I think this is the, let's, let's, just, let's take a look here. This is the Pikachu VMAX. So that's the Pikachu VMAX right there. I really like the cases, so let's take a look. This is the Pikachu VMAX. Now let's, uh, all right, I got it this way now. <laughs> all right, I've got it this way. Okay, let's take a look at the grade. And you know, this is the one that I said, oh, the there's a print line right down the middle. Uh, if you watch that video, I said, oh, there's a print line down the middle. So I think the surface might suffer on that. And so we should see that in the grade that the surface is probably lower than the rest of them. Uh, everything else seemed to look okay. So let's take a look in three, two, one. Oh, it's a 9.5. Wow, look at that. So yeah, like I, like I said, I think the surface is gonna suffer because of that, that print line that's right here in the middle right here. There's one print line right there. I don't know if there's any more. Let's see if there's any more. I can definitely see it. The print line right down the center. There's one, but I don't see any more print lines on this. So I'm, I'm happy with this 9.5 because it's a 9.5 centering, 9.5 corners, 9.5 edges, and just nine surface. So that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. What do you guys think? Do you think it deserved the 9.5? I think it did. The surface, because of that uh, print line down the center, I think 9.5 is fair. I think that's very fair on this um, Pikachu VMAX right here. So I'm gonna put that slab right here on the Pokeball. Right there in the center of the Pokeball. So next, let's take a look at the middle card. I think this is gonna be the Pikachu V. So this is the Pikachu V. Uh, let's see how I'm gonna do this. How am I gonna do this? All right. All right, let's do this. Okay, so here it is. This is the Pikachu V. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to expect with this thing. I'm gonna say that there, there's probably gonna be something that they, they found with it. CGC grade's really tough. Oh, what is that? There's something on the inside. There's like a little black thing on the tail here on the inside of the case. So I don't know what happened there, but I feel like there's something inside the case there. Uh, other than that, I, I think everything looks Really nice, actually. It looks really nice. Everything is pretty pristine in this thing. So, I don't... I don't know. There were no print... I don't see any print lines on here. So, I don't know if the surface will suffer on that. But... What do you think, guys? Um, leave a comment what you think, what you guess the... What you guess it's gonna be. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look now. In three... Two, one. Oh, it's a 9.5. So corners got a 10, which that means it's really pristine on the corners. Edges got a 9.5, centering 9.5, surface got a nine. So 
There must have been something they saw on the surface to get it in nine. But I don't see anything. Like, do you guys see anything on this card on the surface that would make it a nine? I literally took it from the pack. It was pack fresh. I took it from the pack and I put it right into a sleeve. So is it on the back maybe? I don't know. All I know is there's a little black spot on the inside of the case there. It's on the inside of the case. So I hope it's not actually touching the card, but there's like a little black thing inside of the case there. So yeah, that's, um, that's it right there. That's the Pikachu VMAX. I like the grade, I like 9.5, 9.5 is good. 9.5, 10, 10 of course is the best, but you know, 9.5 is still good. 9.5 is still good. I, I, I like that grade. So now let's let's take a look at the Charizard and we should see what the condition looks like. Um, surfaces, corners, centering, edges. So we can take a look at that with this Charizard here. So let's take a look at the back first. I don't know, this little thing here, this little mark on the back is actually so first of all let's let's uh show you the show you guys the uh charizard here so here's the charizard right there so i'm gonna do this okay so here's the charizard um i didn't uh so yeah i pulled this from my very first champion's path etb uh, very first ETB I bought and I got this Rainbow Red Charizard so you know I didn't really have to buy too much product to get it but you know I think the centering is off it's thicker here on the right side here on the right side than it is on the left uh, so I think that might get a 9 um, and I think the same is this it's like that on the back too where the top is thicker than the bottom but I don't I don't really see anything else wrong with this Charizard. Surface looks good. I don't know about the corners or the edges. So let's, um, without further ado, let's just take a look at the grade and we'll see what we got here and if I agree or disagree with it. And three, two, one, let's see. Nine, what in the world happened here? That's kind of upsetting to me. I felt like there's nothing other than the centering that's really bad about it. This should be at least a 9.5, I think. I think it should be. So it looks like the centering is what I got a 9 on, and the other thing I got a 9 on was the edges. So I don't I don't know if I agree about the edges though. Let's let me take a look at the edges really close here under the light. I, I can I can see the centering being off but the edges i don't see anything wrong with them like at all like the edges are perfect there's no whitening on any of the edges i don't see any whitening on any of the edges so you know what i might send this in to psa because this might be actually a good psa 10 candidate if it's a 9 and it was only the centering and edges because I know that PSA is more lenient when it comes to centering they'll do a 60 40 and that seems to be the case here where it's a 60 40 split and the edges I don't see anything wrong with these edges at all so I don't know what do you guys think uh, leave me a comment below what you guys think about these cards should I resubmit this Charizard to PSA to do a crossover? That's my question to you guys. Um, I need some help with this because I'm really thinking about sending this Charizard into PSA uh, and waiting for it to get, you know, to do the crossover because I, I really don't agree with a 9. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Very first CGC return. Uh, I've got some more cards at CGC. I've got about seven more cards at CGC. Um, I did the economy with those, so it's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like the video if you like this video and subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.